in Suffolk County. And as a um, business owner, small business owner, and also as an immigrant, the first in my family to come here 20 years ago. It's, it's really interesting to know what's going on, to see what's going on in, in my backyard. Uh, I'm very involved with many different organizations and we go out there and see um, the things that are going on with uh, immigration and knowing that, per se, no one is doing anything about it uh, when it comes to um, politics. And, and I, I have to be honest with that. It's just uh, living on the back of their mind, per se, and taking the responsibility maybe to, to making the, the, the issues clear and doing what has to be done when it comes to immigration. Uh, but one thing that I would like to mention is that, um, do you imagine New York State without pizza? <laughs> or do you imagine it without beers? Or do you imagine it just to, with those, without those people that clean your backyard, with those people that works in those restaurants, you know, to do the dishes? This is what we are. This is the United States of America. And this is what we've been known for, immigration. Having those immigrants since 100 years ago here with us. And I wasn't born here. I feel that I'm part of this country. I have four kids. My kids are born here. And to be honest with you, sometimes we ask ourselves, and I was uh, recently, I was in, um, um, in a meeting, in a forum, um, and we were talking about specifically the, uh, the Hispanics in the United States. And yes, there are a lot of issues. We always have issues. But also, if you look at the positive side of it, what is the contribution? We heard the contributions in, in Long Island. Overall, when we talk about immigration, we talk about our lives, not only Hispanics, not only um, blacks, not only whites, overall. This is a core issue among all of us that we have to put either into it or go forward and emphasize on what is it that we have to do or what is it that we want to get out of this. Do you know that Long Island has 20,000 small business owners? And do you know what the contribution for those small business owners to this country? The majority of them are immigrants. Very few of them are people like that say, been here 10 in generations whatsoever, you know? So why we have to keep going over and over and make it, and make it an issue that is only one part of the country that are immigrants, that are the uh, Latinos. It is not like that. It's an issue of all of us, an issue that we have to address and we have to do soon. Um, another thing that I learned is that the years that I've been here, I've been just studying and researching and looking for things. What, what is the difference? Why, why at, the, at this time, Latinos are, per se, uh, conceived to be the immigrants only. Um, maybe because the opportunities are not there. Maybe because we haven't put in place uh, ways of making those people, of giving those people the same opportunities that back then, 100 years ago, the other people that came to this country had. Like, per se, uh, we have ways. That, let's say I'm from the Dominican Republic. I'm three hours away from my country. I can have one feet there and one feet here. So you know, those little things, if, I'm, if, I, have, if I have the, uh, the opportunity to be here, I'm given the, uh, the tools to be able to stay and to contribute to this country 100%, believe me, I've done it. I love my country, yes, but I know that I'm here and I have to adapt myself to this country where I have to make things better for my kids and for my family as well. But if we, if we don't understand that, if we don't give that opportunity to others to understand that this is the place where you are, this is where you have to make things different, we're not going to get it. And by us pushing them to the limits, whoever they are, whoever, you know, it's not going to make, it's not going to help. 
we're just making things worse by making those people not uncertain where they belong or where they are. What I make this country special, and it has been for over 100 years, is our diversity. So let's find ways to keep this nation immigrant friendly. Thank you.